more comedy on the way <laughs> So Netflix gives us Chad Daniels. Now here's the thing about Chad Daniels. I've never heard of him before, but apparently Mr. Man has been in the game since like 96, 98, something like that. And <laughs> I apologize because let me tell you something, not bad, not bad at all. He's not boring. He's not my kind of comedy, but he was, I enjoyed it. I considered it white noise with a punch. That's the best way for me to describe it because again, he's not my type of comedian, yet at the same time, Chad Daniels, I enjoyed it. Apparently, he got about, he has a few albums that he did and this is not his first Netflix special. But again, first I've heard of him and I enjoyed it. Now, so what is he talking about? He is talking about us being a single father. He's talking about being a single being a bachelor, that's a single father. <laughs> that's fun. And his style of comedy is pretty straightforward to the point. But some of the stuff that he was talking about, I can't relate. So that's the only reason why his type of comedy is not my style. Overall though, I did enjoy it. Now, he is dating, or at least at the time of this recording, and at the time of the special, he is, was, is, whatever, dating another comedian named Kelsey something. I don't know. Not Chelsea Handler. I know her. <laughs> He's dating her, and he mentions her name. I always have a little problem with that <laughs> because Joe Coy, love him. You guys already know, love him. He dated Chelsea Handler, and in one of his specials, he mentions, he talks about their relationship, and then like, after the special drop, they broke up. And so now, wait, what? No, no, I didn't want them to break up. But then like a lot of your comedy was based on y'all's relationship. And it's just, it just makes it odd. It just makes it weird. For those of us watching, that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. I'm pretty sure Chelsea didn't have no problem with it. Just like healthy may not have a problem with Chad discussing it if they break up. But I do. <laughs> that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. I do. I do. So other than that, that's basically what he's talking about. And then, oh, he also talks about some societal issues, race relations. We'll just call it race relations and things of that nature. Some societal do's and don'ts. He talks about that. But then again, what comedian does it? So there's that. But I, I enjoyed it. Like I said, it was white noise, but it was white noise that packed a punch. It packed a punch because, and I call it white noise because I just put it on while I'm working. <laughs> because I didn't really know his style and I had never heard of him. But every once in a while, I found myself stopping what I was doing to rewind what he just said because I thought, I, did I just hear something funny? Wait a minute, what did he say? Again, my first time hearing him. So no shade, no shade, it's just my first time. But it was a good first time. It was a good first impression, I guess that's what you could say. So share my popcorn, give him a thumbs up. Chad Daniels on Netflix, it's called, you know what? I forgot, Empty Nester, that's what it's called. It's called Empty Nester. I'm not one, so I guess that's why I couldn't relate to some of it. All right, comment below and let me know. Are you going to watch? Did you watch? What you think? Are you a fan? How come y'all didn't tell me about them? Bye. Hey, guys, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my aunt's channel. Bye. Beachside Streams, a subsidiary of Writing Waves LA, offers copy, content, and creative writing services. Writing Waves, where no wave is the same.